Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to discuss CPU components. So basically, CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Central Processing Unit. Sometimes refers to as Central Processor, but more commonly called a processor. CPU means generally a processor. The CPU is brain of computer, which <clears throat> where most of the calculation take place. In terms of computing power, CPU is the most important element of computer system. Your CPU, which is called brain of the computer, is the central element of computer system because all kind of processing, all kind of calculations are performed by CPU only, right? So it's a very important element of computer system. Basically, CPU consists of ALU, arithmetical and logical unit, control unit, and memory. Basically, we are entering inputs, we are entering data to system through input devices that on that data processing will be there and some actions, some operation will be performed by CPU. Inside CPU, we have different, different units. ALU for uh, responsible for applying operations, control unit, moment of data, moment of input data from one location to another. Memory, inside memory, we need to save the data before processing and after processing. In memory unit, we have ROM, RAM, and cache memory. After that, final result will be stored in memory and through control unit, that result will be giving back to user via output devices. ALU, arithmetical and logical unit, perform arithmetical and logical operations. Arithmetical section, functions of arithmetical section is to perform arithmetic operation like plus, minus, multiply, division. All complex operation Operations are further divided into chunks, a smaller operation, right? Smaller component. By making repetitive use of above operations. So complex one will be divided into simple one. Larger logic section. Function of logic section is to perform logic operations such as comparing, selecting, matching, or merging of data. So in logic section, what we are doing, we are comparing two strings, we are selecting particular one, we are matching or merging the data. Next unit is control unit, which controls operation of all the parts of computer, but doesn't carry out any actual data processing operations. Control unit, which control all the operations, but doesn't carry any actual data processing operations. Direct, there is no direct connections, but it controls the whole system, right? So what are the functions of control unit? It's responsible for controlling the transfer of data and instruction among other units of a computer. So it's uh, responsible for transfer of data and instruction from one unit to another, fine? Second is, it manages and coordinates all the units of the computer. What CU is doing, control unit managing, coordinate all the units of computer. And all other units are like input devices, output devices, memory, and so on. It obtains the instruction from the memory. It will take First of all, data will be entered to the system and that will be stored to memory, right? From that memory, instruction will be taken, interpret them and direct the operation of the computer. So in memory, one in at one location, data is there. In second uh, location, there will be an operation. So all those uh, things will be fetched through, fetched through control unit. It communicates with input and output devices for transfer of data or results from storage. It doesn't process or store data. Let's answer which of the following is called brain of computer. Yes. 
Type your option first. Control unit, arithmetical and logical unit, central processing unit, or memory. Next is memory. Memory is just like human brain. It is also uh, it is used to store data and instruction. As we are uh, storing something in our brain, similarly we have memory in which we can store data and instruction. Computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instruction required for processing are stored. So computer memory where data can be uh, from where we need to process data and that should be stored for final reference. The uh, memory is divided into large number of small parts called cell. Inside memory, we have small parts called cells. Each location or cell has unique address, which varies from zero to n total size minus one. If something will start from zero, if we are starting indexing from zero, that will be end up to total size minus one. If something start from one, then it will be ends to the total size. For example, you uh, need to uh, name for eight, you need to create eight cells. If you are giving uh, naming conventions from zero, so it will be zero to seven. If you are starting from one, it will be one to eight, right? So n minus one. Memory is primary of three categories, cache, fast, fastest memory, Pri uh, primary memory and main memory uh, is uh, primary memory we are using when we are installing something, when we are working with uh, current file that will be stored in primary memory. Secondary for future reference for longer time data will be saved in secondary memory. So let's see difference between primary and secondary memory. So first of all, nature. Primary is can be volatile or non-volatile. What is the meaning of volatile? Volatile means in case of power loss, data will be loss. So it can be or it can't be. In secondary, they are always non-volatile, which means data will be safe. Data will be safely stored. Analysis, this is also called internal, but secondary called additional, auxiliary, backup, etc. Access, data is directly accessed by processing unit. In secondary memory, data can't be accessed directly. First of all, data will be, uh, data can be uh, accessible to cache, then primary memory, and then secondary memory. So it should be communicated through primary or cache. Next point, formation. Primary memory is volatile memory, meaning data can't be retained in case of power failure. It's related to point number one, which is called volatile. Means it's a volatile memory. Data can't be retained in case of power failure. But in secondary memory, data can be retained because it will be safe. There is no effect of power failure. Storage, it holds data or information that is currently used by currently being used by a uh, processing unit, right? Generally capacity of uh, primary memory is 16 to 32 GB RAM. You might be heard about, but for secondary memory, it can be to 200 GB to terabytes or it's some SSD too, right? SSDs are also available nowadays. So access is next primary memory can be accessed by a data bus. Primary memory can be accessed by data bus but secondary memory is accessed by input output channels. Secondary memory is accessed by input output channels. Expense, primary is costly, secondary is cheaper than as compared to primary. Now, what is cache memory? Cache memory is called super high speed memory. It is used to speed up or synchronizing with high speed CPU. Cache memory is costly as compared to main memory or disk memory, but economical than CPU register. 
we have four kind of memory now listen number one cpu register which are internal component internal part of your microprocessor if they are a part of cpu internal part of cpu that will be distance will be less speed will be high just keep in mind distance will if distance is less then speed will be high for communication purpose so fastest memory is cpu register because they are internal component of cpu processor then we have cache memory that is also fast as we compare to cache primary or secondary but not faster than cpu registers cache memory is extremely fast memory type act as buffer between ram and cpu so cache memory act as a buffer buffer means temporary storage between ram and cpu it hold frequently requested data instructions so that they are immediately available to cpu when needed whenever it is needed it is required it will be available there right so cache memory is used to reduce the average time to access data from main memory there is a data uh, there is a waiting time when we uh, apply for some uh, memory for certain task some uh, resources so that is a waiting time so cache memory reduce that waiting time the cache is a smaller and fastest memory which stores copying of data from frequently used main memory locations there are various different independent caches in cpu which store instruction and data now you can see the diagram whole story will be clear from this diagram here is a cpu your processor microprocessor inside this processor we have cpu registers inside this we have cpu register as they are a internal component of cpu so that will have that will give <coughs> maximum speed of running any program right so after that we have cache memory that is externally attached but more close as compared to primary or secondary so second rank is cache now distance is this much so speed will be high after that we have primary memory now more distance between cpu and primary so speed will be fast but not as compared to cache memory or cpu registers in primary memory we have uh, ram and rom then secondary memory secondary memory is so far so every communication will be done through primary primary memory between processor and secondary memory so data will be uh, sent to primary memory then will send to processor then final after processing result will be back to primary memory then will go back back to secondary memory clear so which has fastest memory which is fa called fastest memory that is cpu registers if it is an option if if in option cpu registers are not there then definitely cache memory is fastest memory which memory is fastest so out of this you can see cpu register is not there so what will be the answer please type thank you all that's uh, that's for this that's enough for that's all about this video okay thank you so much